extends to springtime. More on that in a moment after Bart will start their next drive at the 36-yard line. Handoff here to Jordan Terrell. Terrell still up and plowing through defenders. Lost his helmet. Lost some of the cloth, too. Waves one around. Now the handoff to Mario Anderson. And Anderson dropped the football. Loose ball picked up by Quayon Gilbert. Turnover. Barton as Anderson lost it. The ball back and just try to put some drives together offensively. Brown dipping, ducking. Now you know who it he is. He gets sacked, and it's Shane Perry who came in with the pressure on Brown, and he goes down second and long on the way. Got a touchdown on a trick play. It's kind of crazy how Barton has his strike first mentality. Cameron Johnson, another tough grab. How'd he get that one? Now Johnson's loose. 40, 30, 20. Cameron he Johnson gone. gone to the blue and white. 13 to nothing, Barton. Quick strike mentality on this Saturday. Barton's not wasting time. Cameron Johnson to the house. 11 seconds left and no timeouts remaining, so pause that. Brown will air it out, and it is intercepted. What picked a off. play. Barton got it, picked by Colby Anderson. Anderson right out of the sky, and a late first-half interception for Barton. Under center, Lynch will keep, falls ahead. That's a first down. Coming in with just 18 total receiving yards. If you can start utilizing Terrell as a passer out of the backfield, look out. Here goes Jordan Terrell on the ground. Terrell to the 45-yard line as he picks up a gain of 14. Give Terrell. That's Terrell give him the rock. in the middle. Terrell blows through a defender past the 25-yard line. Another big rip for the number one. For Barton, Jordan Terrell. Yeah, flipping will hold, and here's Jackson Brooks looking for the first points of the night. Brooks. And good. Jackson Brooks breaks the scoreless start with 9-11 to go before halftime. It's 3-0 Barton. How about that leg of Brooks? And give some credit to Tyler Flipping, too. He's a World-class holder. Lynch after the big catch and run by Byers. This one is to Anton Popoff, who's at the 40-yard line. Gains eight there. Second down. Barton's on the move. And Purdue, he got a little bit out of it that time. Second and four. Lynch now opposite side on the move. Jaquan Lynch wide open. Lynch can cut and get some help. At the five-yard line, Lynch almost went for a house call. First down and goal. Time not on the side of Wingate. First, though, Brooks looking for three. Good again, a perfect 100% for Jackson Brooks tonight. He's got two field goal makes, and this is a 7-6 to six game under the lights. Second and eight from the 42. One in motion. Crocker calls for it, drops the football. Crocker! Goes down. Crocker sacked. And that's Tony Black. As Black got to him, the drop caused confusion for Crocker, and Tony Black sealed the deal. Four plays for Wingate to try to punch this in. Give Wilson. What a hit. Got whacked. Shane Perry goes right back to the special teams questions that head coach Chip Hester was trying to address this week. Barton's next drive beginning for the 25. Here goes George Terrell. Answer. Terrell past the logo. George Terrell will go for 75 yards and the leading rusher in Division II college football this season does it again and Barton one play, six points Jordan Terrell. So Kai Simpson moving early now Wingate Crocker, flag, intercepted. We'll wait on the penalty, but that's Jordan White who picks it. If it's clean, it's a Barton interception by White. Best things in life for free. That's what Sam Cook said. First and five now from the 42. Play fake. Lynch. Time. 
Good ball to Cameron Johnson. And Johnson pulls it in at midfield. Strong stuff for Jay. Bottom of the formation. Terrell in the backfield. Again, play fake. Lynch. Deep ball. Johnson holds on to it. Flags all over the place. But Johnson, another big pass play inside the 10-yard line for Cameron J. Johnson. Lynch, give, Terrell. A little late move, and Jordan Terrell has two touchdowns tonight. And Barton leads 19 to 14. Second and nine for Wingate. Wilson in the backfield, but it's Crocker to drop back. Pressure comes. Crocker intercepted. Mike Webb. Webb right on it to grab it, and Webb turns the corner. Has blocking if he can get back. Webb will step out at the 35-yard line. Pick number two of the night for Barton's defense. And it's Mike Webb with the Webb Jim football style. A loss of one that time on Terrell, which stops what's been a scorching night for him. Play fake. Lynch. Caught by Popoff. He pulled it in one-handed. Anton Popoff. No need for two. Good enough with one. What a catch. Second and six from the 13. Give Terrell. Up the middle. First down. And give Barton new downs. From the 32. Terrell. Get some help to the 40 in a gain of eight. Second down. I don't think we, we can take much more here. Lynch steps up. Jaquan Lynch to the 40. Lynch out of bounds at the 50-yard line. Lynch finally shows off the feet and hot stepping almost into Wingate territory. 56 seconds to go. Call Tylenol PM. <laughs> yeah, I may need a whole bottle. Lynch up. Lynch broke a tackle. 45. Look at Lynch. Just bodies into his defender. Lynch fires, throws, Anton Popoff. Look at him spin for not only the first down, but Barton continues to put themselves into great field goal position. It's a possibility that head coach Chip Hester, there he is. What a career it's been for Hester, who was at North Carolina A&T, spent 10 plus years at Catawba, took the chance, took the risk to come to Barton College. Lynch. Under center, play fake. Lynch on the roll. Lynch hurdles. Lynch past the 30-yard line. It's some of the running prowess of quarterback zero, Jaquan Lynch. I think they'll try to get him more in the passing game. Looking for the field goal is Jackson Brooks, and Brooks is pure for three, and Barton leads Bluefield State three to nothing so far this season, too. Here it is now, third and five. Lynch caught by Johnson at the 35-yard line. That'll pick up the first down and move them for the Bulldogs. Lead five yards here with just over a minute left first quarter. Lynch on the run. Space opens up. Jaquan Lynch, he can burst in one play. Won't be all the way to the end zone, but they don't need it. He'll get close to the 40-yard line, picks up a first down. 15 seconds and counting. Time for Barton to pull off one more play here before the end of the quarter, and a rarity, but they will. Here's Lynch, steps up. Lynch to the 10, cuts. Lynch looking for the five. He'll be just short of it. What a way to walk off at the end of quarter number one. That'll set up a first and goal. But <laughs> Terrell has slipped to third in the nation in D2 rushing. He's going to get it here. Terrell stopped initially, and then Terrell, the extra move to the end zone for the touchdown. Terrell, third in the nation in D2 rushing yards, but he wants that number one spot back. He's going for the top spot. Touchdown, Terrell. Barton leads 9-0. In the air. He's from Alabama, and I have family out there in that area, so who knows? It could be. Here goes a run from Malcolm Wilson. Wilson looking for his first touchdown of the season, and Wilson got it. Wow. Had a 93-yard game against Limestone earlier this season, but didn't get a touchdown today. Touchdown number one of 2021 from Malcolm Wilson, Jr. to the house, and Barton leads 16-7. Flipping ready for it. Good hold 
Brooks. Good. Jackson Brooks makes it a 20 to seven lead for Barton as Brooks just continues to be so efficient. So much of that down and even in Florida. That's kind of like a regional kind of thing. That's a Southeastern quote. Joseph, wow. under pressure, he lost the football. Scrum for it, looks like Barton's on it. Now it's only a question of who comes out of the yes. pile with it. And there it is. It's Alex Gouda. Gouda comes out of the pile. The Graham, North Carolina sophomore, last man to get up from the big pile. He's got the football. Another turnover. Barton's defense with big number 91. Carson Crossman. And away we go. Second half from Wilson. Johnson on the return. Cameron J. Johnson. One to beat. Two to beat. He beat them all. Cameron J. Johnson. Touchdown. Barton, right out of the gates. It's third and nine. Joseph, pressure. Joseph goes down. Shane Perry delivers the sack. Give Terrell. He's in. Second rushing touchdown of the day for Jordan Terrell in his 12th of 2021. Terrell having another big day here in Wilson. Lynch gives it to Trey Holloway, and Holloway has a touchdown. Every running back today for Barton has scored at least one. Lynch. Terrell stays in. Jaquan, pressure comes. Jaquan Lynch steps up. Lynch blocking help, looking for the 40. More help. Lynch has another blocker down there and rolls out at midfield. Second and long. Willingham goes down. Noah Johnson. He's held to just 37 yards against Tusculum the Saturday prior. Here goes Jaquan Lynch. Lynch on the option. Jaquan to the 40. Look at him cut. Look at him move. Look at all of it from Jaquan Lynch. First down and a whole helping more. Brooks one for two this season from 40 to 49 yards, three for five from 30 to 39, and we're kind of on the slight outskirts of that. Flipping, time for another good hold. Brooks looking for his field goal. He got his second of the afternoon. Now 12 for 16 on the season, and Jackson Brooks will make this a one-point game as he splits them for the 12th time this season. Maybe you get out All there. Verts. Well, try, the hard count may work too, but it looks like Lenore Ryan's ready to go ahead and snap this football. They will. Willingham dropping. Plenty of time. Intercepted. KD, it's Kendarius Jenkins. That's why I have him on my Barton fantasy football team as well. Lynch. Play fake. Lynch. Time's running out. Slings it to Johnson, who catches it. Takes a hard hit at the 40. That was the first home game for head coach Mike Jacobs. Play fake to start. Good pass from Lynch. Caught by Cameron Johnson, and then everyone comes like a magnet that time towards Johnson, but that picks up a first down. Good way to start the drive. Going. You may not come back and win, but let's work on some things. Give it to Jordan Terrell, and here's Terrell's most productive run of the day. Terrell clear past the 40-yard line. Doesn't matter what his numbers are, how many times he's run with the football. Barely of Lenore Ryan territory with 8.36 to go, and Barton's finally got something going here in the second half. Quick dump off. Looks like Jack White that time it was. White takes the hit, rolls out of bounds. Second down for Barton. Huge chunks of yardage. Hand off, Terrell, and Jordan Terrell goes in untouched.